I wanted to ask you just a quick question about the uh, Lopez Lomachenko fight in the top rank and ESPN both seem to market the fight as undisputed, which hardcore fans will have known wasn't entirely accurate. But I think casual fans may have been fooled into thinking it was for all four major belts. Yeah. What, what did you make of that? And were you at all offended by it? Yeah, um, I knew that the, the, the casual, it was the casual fans who, who believed. I knew that the real hardcore boxing fans knew that it wasn't a, a real undisputed fight. And uh, that's pretty much what the WBC said as well, that, you know, that it's, it's, it's not for an undisputed fight. It's for the franchise title. And um, at the end of the day, it, that is what it is. I, I, knew that, I knew what that it really wasn't for an undisputed fight. So that's why you guys didn't see me splash on the internet or go out and try to prove anything because it, after the fight, who did he mention? He mentioned the real WBC champ. So that's all that matters. Thanks, Devin. Best of luck. JL Bell, please. All right there, Brother Devin. Um, like earlier this week, um, there was an interview uh, through Ryan Garcia, and he said that um, he wasn't fancying a fight with you next if he defeats uh, Luke Campbell. Uh, what are your feelings about that? And um, also the comments of him saying that you're part of the four horsemen of the lightweight division. No problem. That's okay. Um, if he feels like that, then so be it. Brian Garcia has Instagram followers. He doesn't have a belt. He doesn't, it, it, I really don't gain anything but Instagram followers fighting him. So that's fine. I'll move, I'll move forward and to, you know, the, the champions in the weight class. I would just like to say as well that no. Devin is actually the only of these four horsemen that people tend to make excuses about not fighting. You know, you listen to Ryan Garcia, no, no, I'm not. I'm like, well, why on earth? Why are you fighting Luke Campbell? Because the winner is mandatory for Devin Haney. Why on earth would you want to fight Luke Campbell to become mandatory to Devin Haney if you don't want to fight Devin Haney? Right? Bob Arum says, oh, no, Haney, Haney's not in the mix. Haney's not in the mix. Bob Arum, I've never heard anyone talk so negatively about a fighter like Bob Arum talks about Devin Haney. <laughs> I mean, he may just be bitter that he never got to work with him, but, and he knows he's the real deal. But Devin, you remember when we were at that press conference after the fight in uh, Phoenix and Bob was like, no, we're not interested in Haney against, uh, you know, uh, in, against Lomachenko, et cetera, et cetera. So if Ryan Garcia doesn't look at Devin Haney and think that's the fight for early 2021, he should pull out the Luke Campbell fight immediately because he's probably going to get beat in that anyway. Not going to fight Devin Haney, my bad. Thanks, thanks, Eddie. <laughs> Uh, Marcos, please. Hey, Devin. Good to see you, man. Marcos, was good? I'm good, man. Tired, stressed over this election here, <laughs> as everybody is in the country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, piggybacking off of uh, the last question that you had, um, I, I know uh, when Eddie was speaking earlier, he had mentioned that uh, more or less the you're the if you win this fight, you will be the mandatory to the winner uh, between Luke and Ryan. Um, how confident they'll be are my you? mandatory yeah 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 say that as well. uh, yeah. <laughs> they'll be, yeah yeah they'll be your mandatory um you know clearly um he feels that luke is probably going to win that fight in his opinion eddie does but if ryan does win how confident are you that that is going to be the next fight or do you feel that that is not going to happen next and it's going to kind of like maybe draw out a bit to to drum in what you know promoters would say in the past to marinate a fight like that um, on our side, we, we would love to fight, but on his side, of course, you know, he, he said that he, he said that a fight with him, with me bores him. He'd rather fight a guy with tank weights, with power in both hands and some crazy nonsense that I never heard of. So it just shows you that, you know, he's not, willing, he's not really willing to, to fight me, which is, it's fine. We move on. Is it a fight, a fight with Ryan Garcia is, is not the end of the world. Like I said, he has Instagram followers. I want to go make, I want to get belts. Well, uh, just a, one last question, um, Devin. Um, this is your first experience uh, being out there um, under these conditions. I'm just kind of curious, you know, how, how have you been handling going through all the, the precautions and, and all the, the different things um, as compared to other fights before? 
Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making the best out of it. I'm just happy that I passed my COVID test. Like that was the, like the whole camp. I was just thinking like, Oh, oh my God. Like, I hope I pass this test. Hope I pass this test. Hope I pass this test. Cause you know, it just, it, it would suck if you did a whole training camp and you did everything and then you get here finally here and then you don't pass. But I'm happy that my whole team passed, we all passed. And now I'm really ready to go. Now I know that it, the fight is on. Well, you just you keep your you fingers crossed. Right, that 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 is, is negative. <laughs> that, that, Eddie, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie would know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Devin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Ellie, sec back, please. What's up, Devin? How are you feeling? Ellie, I'm feeling good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, Eddie <laughs> said something very interesting a few minutes ago before you were live. He said that you chose the WBC route because you were confident you would beat Loma and you wanted that fight. So, how would a fight with you and Loma look? I mean, I'm not sure how, exactly how it would look. I know I would be victorious, and I've been saying this since, you know, for a while now. But it's like, if Loma was to want to fight me now, it would be like, dude, you, uh, uh, for a whole year, he acted like I didn't even exist. He wouldn't even say my name. He wouldn't even say anything. He wouldn't even think about me. So now it's like, oh, you, you want to fight now? It, it would just, it would be crazy to me. Now now we're moving forward uh, to Tiafimo. The, the fight with Tiafimo makes all the in the world for the real undisputed. And uh, yeah. Have you ever sparred Tiafimo? Because I know you sparred Tank. Yeah, we, we, me and Timo, me and Timo sparred twice. What did you take from that experience? Um, well, we sparred one time at uh, this one gym in Vegas. We sparred twice, and uh, it was a boxing lesson. That's all I can say. At the end of the day, I, I went in there and uh, boxed his socks off. Hey, thank you. Ames next, please. Hey Devin, pleasure to meet you I'm here for Boxing News TV. Uh, keep it the good work on Real Devin Haney TV as well. Been enjoying your content, uh, Devin. You stand as WBC we're, we're champion. We're filming right now as we're filming right now as we speak. So. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So. Devin, you stand as WBC champion and a proud one at that. Do you feel the WBC franchise championship and status undermines your position as WBC champion? Yeah, uh, I do feel like the WBC. I mean, I, well, I feel like the franchise title is. Uh, uh, a belt made for ducking. That's, the, that's what I honestly feel. I feel like, you know, it, it's a belt where you don't have any mandatories. You don't have to fight mandatory. So what's the point? What is the point of what do you get out of winning a franchise type, uh, franchise title? Thanks, Devin. No disrespect to WBC, but that's how I feel like the franchise belt is, is, is made for. Crazy, the crazy thing is, is that Top Rank requested that Vasily Lomachenko be elevated to the franchise champion, so he didn't have to fight his mandatory, which was Devin Haney, and he got beat in his next fight anyway. He should have just and taken care of his of his mandatory obligation and fought Devin Haney. You know? And then they did the same thing for Tiafimo. Tiafimo petitioned to get the franchise to fight to fight Loma for the franchise title. So it's like, what's the point? 